Hey guys, it's color of the year day today. I love it because I don't care what all the other vendors say. It's what Benjamin Moore releases. This is what I'm listening to because why? They're the king of the color chromatic story. So here's the deal. We've got a bunch of other vendors that have released colors and eh, there's a couple okay when there's a cracked pepper one from Bear that's reasonable, a nice brown from somebody else that's okay. But everybody's main colorways are really, really funky blues that I don't know that I would use anywhere. I'm kind of waiting to see what happens with Benjamin Moore. So I'll see you on the other side of the reveal. Oh, color trends of 2024. Okay. Um, yeah, this is very interesting. They're just kind of like packing a bag and we're going, where are we going? Because all of these trends affect everything, right? They affect things like the fashion, the, they affect the products that we're gonna develop over the next year. They affect our homes. They affect kind of what we surround ourselves with in our lives. And it comes out every year. And it's super exciting. And Benjamin Moore does this lovely show. And basically, everybody else can introduce their stuff. But until Benjamin Moore does their thing in mid-October, it doesn't really matter. Because right now, I'm seeing a bunch of colors coming up. Pristine. Ooh, it looks like there's going to be a green, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm seeing all of this. Fabulous. Oh, antique pewter. Oh, that's amazing. That's an amazing colorway. You know, guys, the reason, oh, white dove. Always good. We always love light white dove. And they'll take these colors and they'll put them into context with their existing palette ranges so that you know, oh, hazy lilac. Gosh, that's beautiful. So that you'll know how to blend these new colors in with your existing schemes or your existing palette. Oh, teacup rose. That's such a beautiful, beautiful soft pink. So, so far, what they're showing you is some of these colors that are in their line now, Regent Green. Oh, that's a fantastic one for a front door. Um, topaz, that's a gorgeous kind of a new, fresh take on things. I don't know if it's new or not. But it's very exciting. They put a lot of money into the development of these colors because these colors are what the storyline will be as we go forward with things. I can tell you that color of the year is something called Blue Nova. Oh my gosh, woo! And it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, all right. How wonderful was that? I'm so happy to have the Benjamin Moore's release and here's how you use them. Okay, number one, that Blue Nova, that's spectacular. That's gonna go in bedrooms. That can go in incredible offices. You could absolutely do that in living spaces. You might even throw that in a dining room. That might be amazing. It's super saturated. You can see it in this library aspect. I'm sure blues are a big thing now because you know, if you didn't see my video on colonial chic, blue is definitely a statement color for that area. So woodwork, we're gonna see this everywhere. Then that antique pewter, oh my goodness, that's such a gorgeous note that can be used opposite some of the warm tones as a neutral. So antique pewter could absolutely be a bedroom, absolutely be an office, a study, a living room. The Regent Green, really saturated, really dark, really focal point oriented. So, you know, throw it on a door. As you see here, they've got it on a very high ceiling, which is very exquisite. Also in some trim, that's very interesting. And then an interesting note, I didn't expect it, but kind of a gritty, dusty lilac. That's absolutely beautiful. And kind of a reference 
to the joy trend that we've been seeing for the past couple of years, but with a little bit more of an adult attitude. You could do that lilac in a nursery, in a bedroom, in an, a powder would be spectacular. These are amazing colors. I actually like their little honeybee. Honeybee could be a beautiful tone, even for a kitchen accent wall, if you wanted to go there. And then that other element that they brought in that was a mid-tone, which is the, it's called a topaz. I really love because it has that elegant sort of Turkish carpet red note to it. So not orange, not color wheel opposite to the blue, but a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more reserved than a bright orange, but still works in the chromatic story. So that's beautiful. And then of course, Benjamin Moore always has the most sophisticated neutrals on the market. So their new white dove color, that's fantastic. The pristine, both could be kitchens, bathrooms, literally any body color you wanted to put anywhere, those are for it. So we talked a lot about color and what it means and sort of the esoterics, but how do you actually really use a palette like this that's been introduced for 24? So think about small elements that you may want to include if you're in love with one of the colors, like that blue, you may want to add say a small decorative element of that. Maybe you're ready to do an accent wall in something. And if you're looking for a colorway, I would lean towards this palette. So perhaps you're repainting a kitchen or redoing something bigger. You're gonna wanna look at some of the neutrals that are represented here, as well as the neutrals that are built on the last couple of years from Benjamin Moore, because that's the overall trend direction for at least the next decade. So apply the neutrals where you would, but think about them as updated neutrals. Instead of just going to decorator white, you could absolutely go to this new white and have it feel a little bit fresher, a little bit more updated. So think about it introducing it in small parts first, and then if you wanna actually tackle a whole thing, you could absolutely use this as a reference point. So that's how you use Colors of the Year, guys. And that's why we pay attention. Oh yeah, and so like, subscribe, share, you know, do all the business you need to do. We so appreciate you guys because it makes such a difference to our channel. And stay safe, we'll see you soon.